Hello, I'm Catherine McCullough and I'm your Director of Education um, here at Simcoe Muskoka and I wanted to reach out to you to provide some additional reassurance to parents and families. I understand some of the thoughts you must be going through right now and I can 100% relate to it. I'm an educator but I'm also a mom and a grandma and I want to sort of offer some key messages today. Um, our province and our country We've done an outstanding job by listening to what our health experts have told us we should be doing. That's what we've done here in Canada and that's what we'll continue to do, especially for our school communities. So when I want to talk to you today about some of the um, building blocks that we've put in place to ensure your child's safety. And when I say building bo blocks, these pieces work together. So the list is a long one, but things like self-screening taking place for our school communities, Cohorting, so 50 students at elementary and 100 at secondary. Practicing physical distancing and teaching our students all about this. Signage, so that there's safe signage throughout our schools. The use of masks. Hand hygiene. Enhanced cleaning in all of our, our buildings and our buses. And limit, limiting traffic flow. And more importantly, training and support for our students and our teachers and our EAs and all of our board staff who are here to serve your children. So we issued a survey to all parents and asking for its completion by the August 17th deadline. And the survey really is to help us determine your intention to return. And I want to reiterate, we want to welcome all our students to return to school. We believe that all students need to return to school. We've received many inquiries on remote learning. And what parents need to know is that we are working very hard to ensure that it will closely mirror the school day. But should you choose remote learning, please know that there will be defined re-entry times. We know what a difficult this decision this is for some families, and we will work with you to support your child's education. But it will really help us if we know your intention so that we can plan appropriately. So finally, I want to end with speaking to you about um, the communication and the ongoing communication that we are um, striving to provide. Sharing information on an ongoing basis is a top priority for all of us. So I want to draw your attention to a few things. So first of all, our website where we have a, um, a live Welcome Back to School section. Also, I wanted to let you know that we are developing a very detailed return to school manual as a resource for uh, our teachers and um, parents. Um, another activity or event that we're having is a live stream event on August 26th that will be on our Facebook page. And we pulled together a panel of education and health experts so it will be an opportunity for you to go into greater depth to ask some of the questions and receive some of the answers um, that you may be seeking. And finally, our Q&A guide, uh, question and answer guide, we've been working on an ongoing basis to make that a live document, to make that a living document, and we commit to uh, listening to your questions and trying to provide timely answers on that resource. So again, I ask if you could refer to that and hopefully it'll address some of your questions and concerns. And finally, I want to uh, assure you that we will be reaching out weekly to provide timely and accurate information and to try to um, support you in all of your questions, all of your concerns, and we'll, we'll continue to make information a top priority. So thank you for this opportunity to speak with you today.